everyone. I'm happy to see um, all of you here. I see familiar faces and also new faces that we're fortunate to have with us today. Um, you must have been hearing about um, STEM, STEM class, STEM literacy, industry 4.0, yes, STEAM, AI, anything else? Robotics, automation, machine learning. Machine learning. So, is there anything else that we miss here in the world cloud? So, um, and in fact, it is happening already in some parts of the globe. If the future of workforce is moving towards automation, then what does that mean for us? According to a 2018 report from the World Economic Forum, over 75 million routine jobs worldwide will soon be rendered obsolete by automation. In the Philippines alone, 51% of employees will need upskilling to remain competitive as the country rapidly transforms into a highly technological society. And the skills that the future workforce will need are those that are not easily automated. Skills such as creativity, critical thinking, complex pattern solving, which are also learned in STEM. The big question is, with the drastic change that we expect in the future, how can we work together to prepare our learners for the work of the future, nurture the industry 4.0 workforce ready, and the scientists who can create innovations to advance economic development. STEM Plus PH is a flagship program of Unila Foundation that aims to strengthen STEM education in the Philippines. With the belief that STEM is key to solving real life problems and advancing national development, our efforts are centered on developing or building a STEM literate society engaging learners, equipping educators, and convening the government and industry sectors to align efforts and influence policies on STEM education. Last year, we started with a benchmarking tour in Boston, Massachusetts, which gathered 11 representatives from the academe and government. It was also last year when we launched the program train teachers with an engineering design process, which we are calling now design thinking, and first convene members of the GIE, Government Industry Education, to touch point on efforts for STEM that could be aligned. The outcome or the output of that um, benchmarking tour is the establishment of CSTEM, the Center for Integrated STEM Education. Teachers are at the front line of STEM education as they guide learners to develop the necessary skills for the work of the future and to nurture them to become innovators. To sustain our efforts in building a high quality framework for STEM education, we established the C-STEM, an institute for capacity building, curricular innovations, credentialing, and networking for advancing integrated STEM education led by Dr. Cheryl Monterola from the University of the Philippines College of Education. In partnership with STEM plus BH and various UNILA divisions, CSTEM has launched various projects like Teaching Factory. Um, we established this in our Amherst Manufacturing Laboratories. It gives teachers a first-hand experience on how STEM skills are enacted in an actual industrial sector. The Institute is also currently implementing a pilot program in Sorsogon, which involves creating a STEM learning ecosystem for the 12 senior high schools in the province with STEM track. I see Elmer here from Recall Media. Um, on STEM track, going beyond the traditional teaching and the walls of the classroom. The concept of an ecosystem for STEM learning is expanded where dynamic interactions among teachers students, parents take place. Learning occurs in diverse settings. Farms such as experimental laboratories, farms being used as experimental laboratories, factories to lead lessons to future careers. And lastly, a community-wide ecosystem approach that connects STEM learning experiences to their community needs 
culture, and daily life. The last time we had an activity in Sorsogon, a major representative from Raptor joined us. She approached me after my welcome remarks to bring to my attention that media should be part of this ecosystem. And yes, I agree. Each one of you here plays an important role in promoting a STEM culture, popularizing STEM, and making it accessible to rural areas, especially to girls. So as you can see, we have highlighted media in the ecosystem. This brings me then to the reason why we're here today. We need you first to promote the first integrated STEM Leadership Summit in Asia and the launch of the STEM Leadership Alliance at this summit. How do we prepare our learners and teachers to harness the tech revolution occurring at a pace and a speed that's unparalleled at any point in our history? One of the ways in which we are forced fully moving towards this vision of a future-ready Philippines is through the first integrated STEM Leadership Summit this November 21 to 24 in Shangri-La, Mactan Segu, where we will convene representatives from the government, industry, and education sector to engage over 50 international STEM experts from the US, Europe, Japan, and other countries in Asia. Find ways to synergize their work with the needs of both, of both local and global communities towards building a STEM-ready society, nation, and the world. The summit emphasizes this belief. In order to deliver a relevant STEM education and build a ready pipeline of scientists and innovators, we need everyone to play their role in the STEM ecosystem. This leads us then to the STEM Leadership Alliance. The STEM Leadership Alliance is started in the U.S. Um, and actually, they are our partner in organizing this summit. The STEM Leadership Alliance in the U.S. is a broad coalition of um, key industry leaders, academe, NGOs, and um, different universities and schools. In fact, they have recently contributed inputs to the um, White House strategic plan for um, STEM education. And it is currently being rolled out across the United States. So um, they will be the one who will be um, guiding us in building the STEM Leadership Alliance. So the coalition believes that STEM is critical in preparing today's learners, again, for the work of the future, nurturing the next generation scientists and innovators who will address societal problems and contribute to the economic development and poverty, alle poverty alleviation of the country. This and more, you will hear more about today. We go by a simple logic. A future-ready workforce equals a STEM literate student. A STEM literate student is nurtured by STEM literate educators who themselves were empowered through the support of the government and the industry. A future-ready workforce and innovators are urgently needed. The future better. And we may be far off, but we are getting there. Thank you so much. And again, welcome to this first press conference.